This land is your land, this land is my land. From California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters, this land was made for you and me. And you know, further on out, beside America, the land belongs to the people. Um, I'm doing this video in honor of Woody Guthrie's birthday. But first, I'm going to give a little bit of news. Um, this is Grandma Tigger, and I'm in Oklahoma, home of Woody Guthrie. I want to thank all of you that have just joined my um, channel. If I seem out of sorts, I just had a leg cramp a few minutes ago, and I've drank my pickle juice, and hopefully my everything will clear out. It's been so hot, and I think that's part of it, just being out and going hard. <clears throat> but anyway, I wanted to give some updates, and again, like I, th I just want to thank you so much. Praise the Lord for all the views I've had on my last few videos and I thank you all for watching my videos can't say how much I thank you because the more people watch my videos I feel like I'm doing a job for the Lord educating people and I hope that when you're educated you share your knowledge to somebody else Back in October of 2020, October 28th, I published a video on YouTube, and it was called Minority Report Precog Poopster Division. And in that video, I discussed how Palantir Industries um, were using their, you know, making their efforts to... Um, go in you know they're a global spy agency and they were using their company to spy on everyday individual citizens and they want to surveil every aspect of everything we do down to they want to monitor monitor your poop and I feel like you know probably was laughed at over that one but anyway I was sitting down at work eating my breakfast and one of my co-workers had brought in a newspaper and on the paper the Tulsa world uh, I believe is the name of it um, and I'll include a link but anyway in that um, newspaper they were talking about Oklahoma's efforts to broaden their sewer surveillance. Um, just a little back note. Um, Palantir has worked for years to boost the global dragnet of the NSA and its international partners and was in fact created by American spies. While Palantir claims that they are, an all, they are all about civil liberties and protecting privacy, they state that their goal is to rat out terrorists. Well, you and I know that that title, um, that label of being Uno terrorista or terrorista is ever broadening, and um, so that label's being slapped on just your average Joe nowadays. Anybody that um, doesn't go along with the 
plan, you know. But anyway, um, they are trying to broaden their sewer surveillance. And so I, I felt kind of gratified to know that I was right. Coming to a town near you. And so if you ever wonder why the the powers that be know that somebody or that a neighborhood has the crown virus um that's why because they're monitoring everything you even fart wrong they're gonna know it okay but um if you're a weirdo and you feel left out you know like if you live out in the country like i do and you feel left out and you really want somebody to study your poo though there are companies that will literally pay to study your poo did you see the news about shinzo abe in america we think of the reptilians as the bad guys but over in Japan, there's people who believe that their, their DNA includes reptilian DNA and that the powers that be are trying to squash the ability of the citizens to be enlightened through poisoning the sky, manipulating food, and changing DNA through vaccines. Wait, where have I heard this before? They haven't released a, an official reason behind this person that did this event. But um, I'm sure they're trying to work up something, you know. And um, if they don't, then... Maybe they're just waiting on, um, you know, that forgetfulness, um, that collective, um, what do you call it? See? Done did it. Forgot. That happens to the public, you know, where we just, like, move on to the next event and we forget. Um, it's amnesia. But, you know, they may be just waiting on that to take place. But, um, all joking aside, you know, being able to make stuff like what that guy did, that might be a good skill to learn. So, while you got the time, you might be getting some books and learning how to do things like that. Make things from scratch, you know. And the... Other reason I wanted to talk about Guthrie, you know, there's a lot of stuff affecting farmers. And um, I remember back in the day where people like my daddy got tied up in those FHA loans and a lot of people were losing their farms back in when I was a kid, you know. And um, I remember the farmers riding to the um, White House and the big um, farm aid concerts and everything. Um, but anyway, today we have people like Bill Gates trying to buy up thousands of acres of farmland. Um, the Dutch farmers are over there protesting and fighting for their ability to farm. Um, and I hope I say this name correctly. Ava... Vlardinger broke <laughs> in the Netherlands is exposing how Bill Gates is buying up land and he's behind the farming and food crisis. We see in uh, it started way back with Lebanon, you know, the fertilizer kapow, you know, went up and now people are um, trying to figure out how to make food, you know. And that was the start of this whole, now all these buildings um, setting fire and stuff. But um, 
Also, people like Bill Gates is trying to buy up the land, and then they're trying to stop the farmers from um, farming. And so the situation is real, you know. And um, in North Dakota, though, the ranchers are trying to bring the matters before the courts. Um, the rest of America, they're waiting on cue to save them. Um, people in Sri Lanka and Germany, they don't have a cue to save them. So they're taking matters in their own hands. You see that um, president in Sri Lanka running with a suitcase trying to catch that boat? <laughs> but um, ain't no cue going to save you. Okay, um, but anyway, this is our land, and um, we got to get off our duffs, and we got to fight for it, however that takes place. Um, I say peaceful. Um, nobody needs to get hurt, but this is our land, and we need to tell them to quit their shit and i'm sorry i'm i'm angry and so my sailor's coming out but um anyway this is our land it's your land and um it doesn't matter if you're in california or the netherlands or sri lanka the land belongs to the people and we aim to take it back and the likes of Bill Gates and all these politicians that want to sit around and eat their $10 ice cream bar in front of their $5,000 or more. I don't even know how much those refrigerators cost. And tell us that we're flush with that little bit of chump change they threw at us in 2020 for relief. COVID pandemic relief. Yeah, we're flush. And we need to flush y'all out. But um, I hope you enjoy my tour of um, the Woody Guthrie Museum. I did have permission to film. So if YouTube or any other platform tries to say copyright, I had their permission to film. They said no flash, but I could film and I could take pictures. So there. But anyway, um, I love you all, and please enjoy my video. And like, and share, and comment. Thank you. Okay, we're on Reconciliation Way in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Going to visit the Woody Guthrie Center. We're inside the Woody Guthrie Center. interactive thing here I'll touch the barrel or maybe there there we go
Don't, don't, don't touch it. Ah, you missed it. Anyway, Woody Golden Guthrie's birthday is tomorrow. <laughs> Where'd it go? Like, dang, I wanted it. <laughs> you stinker. <laughs> My granddaughter. <laughs> And Woody Guthrie was an artist. This is some of his artwork. There will always be an Oklahoma. Yes, ma'am. I've sung this song, but I'll sing it again. Woe to the people I met and the places I've been. This land is made for you and me. This land is made for you and me. This land is made for you and me. This land is my land. From California to the North Islands. This is one of my favorite songs, Alice's Restaurant.
Jesus says, you either create or destroy, choose wisely. Patera from Appalachia's homestead has been showing her luscious garden and I just wanted you to see we're struggling here in Oklahoma. Um, I'm a Georgia girl and I've lived in Georgia and Florida and I have such lovely yards there and I come to Oklahoma and you get a few weeks of I wear my Crocs. I don't know if you can see that. I wear my Crocs because this ground is crunchy and hard. But look at this. My beautiful begonias are sludge. It's just hot. It's miserable. Um, my blueberry. They've got some little brown spots. It's just we're in a drought. Um, like I said, I was from Georgia, and then I've lived in Florida, and I mean, people would come by and take things from my yard, you know, I'm talking about ideas from my yard, and then next thing you know, I'd see everybody on the street doing the same thing, and I move here to Oklahoma, and we get a nice spring for a few weeks, and then it's the blazing fires of hell after that and so i haven't quite caught on how to grow here in oklahoma but you know i'm not completely dumb my dad used to tease me said when the lord was giving out brains you ran in the house because you thought he said rain and i said well at least you know i'm smart enough to come in out of the rain but anyway just wanted to show you my yard and again this is grandma tigger coming to you from oklahoma please like and share and let's quit fighting one another because it's us against them and we gotta love one another and we gotta take back this land it's your land it's my land it's all our land and we're not gonna let some elites tell us what to do Love you all. Please like and share. Comment.